everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing two new Briar Horses, and I'm super excited about it. These two models actually came a lot quicker than I expected. Normally Briar packages take about a week and a half or more to get here, but this one took just under a week, which was super awesome to get it fairly quickly. But without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up. There are two boxes within this box. We got a little Stablemate Club box and a big version of this same box. Let's go ahead and open these two models up. We'll start off with the little box here. So in this box is the second release to the Briar Stablemates Club 2020. And this little guy's name is Florian, I believe that's how you say it. So little Florian here is on the, I believe this is G2 or G3 Warm Blood Stallion. As you can see, he is a glossy pinto. And I just now realized that he is like the same color as the Collector Club model Enchanted, who I really, really love. And so I'll automatically I'm liking this guy a lot because he is the same kind of coloring as Enchanted. Let's go ahead and open him out of his little box here. Here he is out of the box. Now I know a lot of collectors I think are not super excited about this guy but I'm actually really liking him. He is such a pretty color and that gloss just makes his coloring pop and look gorgeous. So let's get an even closer look at this adorable little fellow. So he has one blue eye on this side of his face and this other one I can't tell if it actually has any brown painted on it. It kind of looks like it does but it's hard to tell with my current light on. But he has one blue eye and then one brown or black eye. He is a really pretty chestnut color with that sorrel mane and tail and really awesome pinto markings. I need to look up if these are the same pinto markings as Enchanted and I will put on screen if he does in fact have the same markings or not. They do look very similar to him from what I can remember on memory. So I'm actually really liking this model for that fact alone being a little mini me Enchanted model. His tail has a really nice fade from white to this really sorrel, yellowish, brownish color. He has a bit of a paint kind of mishap on his tail, just a little bit there. But honestly, otherwise, this guy is just gorgeous and he is perfect looking. His masking is fantastic. There's like no overspray. His gloss is lovely. Okay, there's a tiny bit of overspray right there. But for the most part, there's, well, maybe a tiny bit right there too. But hardly any overspray. And on these little bitty guys, I can imagine it's hard to get them to be so crisp in their markings and stuff. Oh my gosh, he looks fantastic. And he has four little peachy hooves. And I'm just loving this beautiful rich coloring. He is a gorgeous little model, and I am surprised that it seems like so many people are selling their little Florian guys. I think he is fantastic, though, and he is definitely going to be a keeper in my collection. I am loving him even more than I originally thought I would. If you were wondering who the first release in the 2020 Collector Club is, that is this little guy whose name is Claus, and I already did a video all about him, which you can watch either in the cards at the end of this video or in the description down below. And I really, really like both of them. I love these flashy colors. They just look so awesome. Now it's the time to unbox the bigger box, which is the Collector Club model, Fabio. Oh, what's this? He also has a new, this looks like a newish one. Yes, it is a new one, a new little Briar catalog. They got all 
all the cool products in here and also of course Briarfest. And my froggy stuff is even down there. They even say YouTube fans meet and greet. That's super awesome for them to include that on there. And here they have racehorses, breeds of the world, best of British sport horses. These are all ones we were all probably pretty familiar with that we see on the Briar website and stuff. And I've done videos about when they've come out and stuff. Oh, look, create realistic scenes with your Briar models. And they have some awesome photos from Mindy Berg at the top there. There's, of course, Briar accessories, all the fun accessories and barns, Briar artistry, activity sets, collecta. They even have the little activity things. And they go into the stable mates. Spirit Riding Free, a whole section on Spirit Riding Free. And classics. You can't forget your classics. Lots of classics. But it's kind of fun to take a look in the little Briar catalog things. Anyway, on to the Hutchwell model now. Sorry for sidetracking on that. Most of you probably already know by now, but if you do not, this model was the one of the models that collectors got to choose which model ended up being the collector club model. They've been doing this every year for the past couple years now. At Briarfest they show a model with a particular color or on a particular mold and they ask you which mold or color that you want the model to be and then collector club members get to vote on the Briar website for which one they want. And so this guy was the one that won this year. You can see the other two and this guy actually at Briarfest in a past Briarfest video. Again, in the cards in the description for any of the videos I reference. But this is the one that won and I'm excited he did because this was the one I wanted the most. I liked all of them though. The other two molds were Destato and Esprit for this color to be on. I would have loved any of them honestly. But I am glad this guy won because he is gorgeous. I am already loving him, and he's still got a lot of bubble wrap on him. Oh my gosh, I am in love with him already. Let's go ahead and take off his tail stuff, and he's got a shiny tail, oh my goodness. And we'll take off his, his head bubble wrap to keep him safe, and boop, there he is. Oh my goodness, this guy is super gorgeous. I absolutely adore him. He is so cute. And this is actually the first time I've gotten a model on this particular mold. I've been meaning to get a model on this mold, but just haven't yet. So I'm really excited to actually have one of these molds in person. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm very excited about him. He is gorgeous. I also am really having a thing for splash paint horses right now, which is another reason why I really love him because he is in fact a splash paint because he has that white that starts at the bottom and goes up like that. And he is also a dun, so he's got a nice little dorsal stripe on him. He is gorgeous, oh my goodness, and I love that his tail is pearly. I know some people don't like the pearliness on models, but I do think this is a really nice little touch to that pearly pearly white on the bottom of his tail. His white is also really pretty. I think they, did they say that they painted some white on him? Because it does look like they actually painted some white paint on him. Not necessarily like chalky white paint, but some white paint on top of the bare plastic. At least that's what it looks like to me. I'll have to double check on that if that's correct or not, if they did add white to him. But it looks so gorgeous if they did. It's beautiful. On the bottom, it says Collector Club 2020 in kind of a gold. Yeah, it's like a gold. Collector Club 2020. And then there is his VIN number on his one foot, which is not wanting to focus, but it's also like partially rubbed off. Oh, he's so pretty. He's got little peach kind of colored hooves. He has like a little bit of funky, uh, just a tiny bit of funky stuff going on right here. Like kind of a little bit of factory flaws. Also right there, like he's got a little smudge of something. But honestly, otherwise he looks fantastic. There's nothing otherwise wrong with him. I love that he has a little bit of pinking on the inside of his legs. Or not on the inside of his legs, but on like the legs there, like on the tendons. And he has little pinkish, tannish chestnuts. And then like a 
grayish chestnut on this leg. He's got some nice subtle shading. I would have loved it even more if he had darker shading on his back, but that's just a personal thing. Otherwise, he does look so gorgeous. He has like nice highlights on his hips. He's like really kind of semi-gloss too. He's not solid matte. He's kind of semi-glossy a little bit. And look at that gorgeous mane. It's beautiful and it's kind of shaded nicely. It's not just a solid color. It's got like a couple colors mixed in going on there to give this really nice, nice look. He's got a sweet face. His eyes are just black and white. Unfortunately, they're not painted up to be like blue or brown or anything like that, but he still looks gorgeous. Oh my gosh, he's got a little pinking on his nose. I love his face marking. I love his markings in general. I love how this one goes up like this, and especially this one with the kind of jag, jaggedy, jagged, jaggedy, jaggedness. I can't speak. It almost looks like really tall mountain peaks on him. Kind of like uh, those particular rock formations that I can't think of the name of right now. But it looks like those that I believe are like in Utah or Arizona or something. Kind of looks like that in a way, which I think is very cool. And I'm so, so happy I got him. He did sell out right away, unfortunately. Just a little over 24 hours, I believe, is how long it took for him to sell out. Which I'm surprised about. I would have assumed that they would have made, like, more of him. But a lot of people ended up buying this guy, and I can see why, because he is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I haven't been this excited, honestly, for a Collector Club model in quite some time. And I just love him. I knew I was going to love him at Briarfest last year, and I'm so, so happy. I'm just, I'm loving this guy so much. Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious me, he's adorable. I love him. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to try and take some photos of him, maybe. They might not be super great because they'll probably only be in my front yard. But I will take some photos of him. I don't know if I'll tack him up or not at all. But I'll go ahead and show you those photos now and also have a couple photos of Florian mixed in there. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts about these models down in the comments below. And also go ahead and tell me which Collector Club model that Briar has done is your favorite or one of your favorites. For example, for me, some of my favorite Collector Club models that Briar has done is this guy, Fabio, Moon Dancer, and Enchanted. Those are three that come to mind that I really, really love. But you guys can tell me in the comments what Collector Club models Briar has done are your favorites. Thank you for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!